So first I'm going to look at installing the uh, SketchUp Components Bonus Pack. This is on the wiki site, uh, which links to this site here. Now we'll download the uh, Architecture Bonus Packs for Windows. This is an EXE file, and so uh, it is self-installing once it's been downloaded. So here's the file, which will run. Click Next, accept the license agreement, and note that it's going to try to install into a folder called SketchUp 6, which we don't have because we're using SketchUp 8, so I've changed the destination folder. and now it's uncompressing everything and putting it all in the destination and so if you're in the program folder you can open the components uh, folder and find architectural components and here's a whole variety of different uh, architectural uh, elements that you can use as components now The other thing that I'd like to install in my uh, installation of SketchUp is a plugin. Again, at Google they have a large number of plugins directly linked, and then there are also some pages that are linked here that contain collections of plugins. Plugins are really nice, they add new functionality to SketchUp, and uh, many of them are free. So I'm going to install my favorite SketchUp plugin, which is Sketchy Physics. This is a plugin that adds um, Newtonian physics to SketchUp objects. And I made the mistake of of going to the Sketchy Physics website, what I should have done was click on the current version link. But this does have some information about it. There we are. So we'll click on this. Uh, they do have a beta of uh, version 3.2 I'm going to use the 3.1 version which is current. Uh, the 3.2 I think um, isn't quite ready for prime time perhaps. I'm using the one for Windows and we'll save the installer. So here's the installer. We'll start it up. It apparently knows where to go. It's going into SketchUp plugins in my current SketchUp 8 installation. It's very small, especially considering all the stuff that it does. And so if we go to the plugins folder, you'll see a folder here that says Sketchy Physics. So now I have to restart SketchUp in order to make sure that the plugins and the new component packs will load. Okay, well it seems that my toolbars are off to the side here, so I'm going to drag them back into the SketchUp window. Uh, this would be the uh, Sketchy Physics uh, tools.
And now I'm going to look at components and see what we've got. Uh, there are my architectural components in my components uh, library. So this appears to be working the way I want it to. So, Google SketchUp, most of its files live inside uh, this folder in your program files uh, folder called Google, then there's Google SketchUp 8. Unfortunately on uh, the computers here uh, uh, at the university uh, when you log in you don't have access to this folder yourself and so if you were to try to install plugins or um, install uh, uh, new construction um, new components you don't have access and so you won't be able to do it. It turns out that you can take this folder and drag it into a uh, USB flash drive and um, it won't run on a computer that doesn't already have SketchUp 8 installed but it will run with your components uh, and with your plugins if you were to run it on a computer that has Sketch, uh, SketchUp installed. So why, why would you want to do that? Uh, the thing is that uh, the computers here don't have your plugins and so I'm going to uh, 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 copy SketchUp over to this other computer or rather uh, I'm going to copy SketchUp onto this flash drive. Any uh, system level libraries or uh, entries in the Windows registry those things are not transferred over and so uh, SketchUp will not actually run from the flash drive on, on some other computer. Okay, and now I'm done. So I have a SketchUp folder on my flash drive. Now I'm taking this flash drive to another computer. This computer has Google SketchUp 8 installed, but it's not mine, or not the one that I had just configured. And so, so as you can see, it doesn't have the uh, sketchy physics toolbars. And the components library uh, the components library only has the construction bonus pack, not the architectural bonus pack. So if I open up my flash drive, you can find my folder that says Google SketchUp 8. And if I scroll down, you'll find SketchUp EXE. This is the SketchUp program file, so I'll run that. And here are my my sketchy physics toolbars again. They're not placed in in uh, the in the toolbar area because uh, that placement is determined by a registry entry which doesn't uh, travel along with the program folders. But you can see that you know all those all the toolbars are now listed. Uh, so this plugin is active. In addition, if you look in the components library, you can see that. Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, there we go. That the architectural components are are loaded, not the construction components. And so we can run Sketchy Physics uh, on this. Ah, there it goes. Uh, let's try that again. There, see, so the box drops uh, like it's under gravity. That's what one of the one of the basic things that Sketchy Physics does. So I can carry this flash drive with me and run it from any other computer that has this version of SketchUp installed, and uh, it will load up and run um, 
uh, run SketchUp for me and it will have the plugins that I've installed and it will also have the uh, components that I've installed.